But what do you say to the people, the cynics, the, the you know, the people who would look at the psychedelic experiences and say, okay, you are glorifying and and you're over exaggerating what's essentially a hallucination. Your visual cortex is being bombarded with these foreign chemicals. You're seeing things that aren't there. And all this is is just your your brain's need to make something profound out of what's essentially a malfunction, a malfunction of your 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 thinking, a malfunction of your visuals, and you've sort of attached all this importance to it after the experience is over. Well, that, that's the cynical point. of view. Yeah, right? that's the cynical point of view. But to that, I would reply that you know what we call ordinary reality, ordinary consciousness, uh, even consensus reality, is essentially a hallucination. I mean, right, the reason drugs work is because we're made of drugs. You know, and whether or not we're on drugs or not, our brains are creating, you know, this reality, which, which we know does not resemble the real world, whatever that is. I mean, the instruments of our physics and so on tell us that the world is a quantum world that's full of vibration. It, it doesn't look anything like this. And that atoms you know? are so we, mostly hollow. Our, a lot of what our brain does is synthesize a, a hallucination, essentially, create a model of the world that we proceed to live in. You know, I mean, the world that we, you and I share and everyone share, this is a model of the world. This is a, a model reality, not the real reality. The real reality is completely unknowable and will always remain so. So for people to say, well, you've just, yeah, you've disturbed your brain chemistry in a novel way and you've, you've tuned into a different channel, essentially, but you're still working with a model, whether it's a model of the world experienced through the lens of a drug or whether it's experienced through the lens of, you know, sober conscious perception. It's still a biochemical artifact in a sense. Our brains create this. We live inside of it, you know, and uh, that's, so, so that's what I would say to those people that it's not that, you know, there is some kind of objective reality which we're immersed in when we're not on drugs. It's more that we're on drugs all the time, you know. Our brain is a organ that happens to churn out drugs, <laughs> you know, which we call neurotransmitters yeah. and hormones, and that's what our brains run on. So all, all you do when you take an external drug is you tweak one or more of those sets of receptors that the neurons are talking to. And, you know, you get a slightly distorted signal from what we, what we have come to accept as ordinary reality. There is no ordinary reality, or we don't know what it is. We, it's, it's forever unknowable in terms of our subjective experience. These are very